Thank you for joining us. We are joined here by Yasmin Ryan. Two in two weeks. How does it feel? Uh, it feels so good. I'm so proud of the team and just honestly couldn't be happier uh, that we're still rolling. Awesome. Okay, we'll take questions online. Please click the raise hand icon if you have a question. We'll go ahead and order their in, starting with Jenna Tonelli. Jenna. Hi, Yasmin. Uh, congratulations on your goal and the win. Um, just personally, how are you, how were you feeling when that final whistle blew and, and you knew that you guys put on that dominating performance um, and uh, are making it on to the next round? Yeah, I mean, just super excited, super happy. Um, this team is just so amazing. And to get to celebrate with them and to keep going with them is, is um, everything I could ask for. So I'm so proud of us and it's on to the next. Thanks. All right, our next question will go to Jonathan Tannenwald. Jonathan. <clears throat> Thanks, Krista. Yes, me. Congratulations, Jonathan Tannenwald of the Philadelphia Inquirer. You know, we've seen the the pressing that this team is capable of and how it's played out all year. But what what does it mean for you, the pressing ethos of this team, and what it means when it comes off as well as it did on that second goal? Um, it's just a testament to what we've worked for all season, what we've done all season, staying true to how we play, and and how we want how we want to play and how things how we operate um so yeah i mean just it's so rewarding to see your hard work pay off especially at such a crucial time and i feel like we're we've kicked it into second gear um and and what a time for for that to happen so i'm i'm so excited for the next game and 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 how far we're gonna go if my mic is still on i'd, I'd take a follow-up if i can um you know and any sport, but certainly in soccer too, in the playoffs, people talk about players who come into locker rooms and bring championship pedigree when they change teams. And and that's certainly you for this Gotham team, as there are a few others, but you know, yeah. you're a defending champion if, if my memory's right. So, you know, how, how much does, does that come into your mind at this time of year? Oh, I mean, instantly I have this thing where I remind myself championship mentality and the, try to carry that throughout the entire season, but especially at a time in playoffs when it counts the most. And um, I think it's so important to keep that. And now that I have that experience under my belt, I'm definitely just that, I don't know, like just not a step ahead, but like I just have that experience. And so I feel it and I know what, what, what happens and what the feeling is. And so I'm like, I just feel that much more prepared and, and, excited to to play in these games and so um yeah it it, it feels good to to be with this team and, and to move forward with this team thank you Yasmin our next question will go to Anthony Merced followed by Jeff Kassouf and Steph Young Anthony uh hello Yasmin um as the game wore on in the second half um and, and you didn't find that second goal until the very end obviously um was there any ad did you feel any added pressure or was there a feeling that the goal was coming? Um, I, for myself, I definitely felt like the goal was coming. Um, I think with especially a player like Lynn, whose press was amazing and, and us regaining the ball in their, in their, in our final third um, was just a goal waiting to happen um, for really anybody on the field. And so um, it's important to just put, keep putting myself in those positions to make something happen. Um and so no, I don't I wouldn't say I was worried at all or anything like that. I, I'm fully confident in <clears throat> in my team and, and in myself. And I knew that if we just put ourselves in the right position, that it'll come and and we'll find it. So um I think the time before that I had I had a shot on goal, so I was definitely feeling it. Um and then yeah, Lynn's amazing press and, and winning the ball and then playing me um <clears throat> perfectly into the box was was just the cherry on top, so, yeah. All right, our next question will go to Jeff Kasu. Jeff. Uh, thank you, thanks Yasmin. Um, the, you know, the, the formation of this team, the, the system of this team is, is kind of known to be pretty free flowing and, and we mm -hmm. saw some of that with with how you all were interchanging up top again tonight. Um, what, what do you feel like was, was really most effective uh, tonight specifically against this Courage team where, you know, they like to possess, but but really couldn't put, much together uh, on the night? Yeah, I think our defensive effort was outstanding. Um, as a team, everybody was tracking back. Everybody was getting back and doing their roles. And that's so crucial in the way that we play. And um, it it's what led 
um, to, to the second goal for sure. And so I think overall our defensive effort and our willingness to, to go get back and then get forward in transition was, was outstanding. So I'm, I'm definitely so, so proud of us for that. And, um, all right, and we'll go to Steph Young. Steph? Thanks. Hi, Yasmin. Just following up on that, you yeah, mentioning the, the defensive effort, the how much, you know, yourself and Midge and Lynn tracked back. Midge said immediately after the game, as a forward, I don't love it. <laughs> but, um, you know, just from yourself, you mentioned championship mentality as well, the mindset of buying into something that Juan Carlos is trying to get you guys to all, you know, participate in as part of the process just tonight, did it feel like a good culmination of a lot of that? And then going forward, you know, there's a pretty big break between now and semifinals. Just how do you feel like you guys are going to keep that mentality rolling? Yeah, I mean, I think it started from, I think for us, the, the playoffs kind of started whenever we played Kansas because it was that game was a deciding of whether or not we were going to be in this position. And then from then, knowing that, like, we should have, honestly been in a higher spot we're like that much more motivated to show that we deserve this and and we're gonna work and and fight no matter what um and i i think that will definitely carry this momentum into the next game and it's just gonna be even more and um so yeah i mean our yeah our team is just one of a kind honestly in, in the way that we play and um, i definitely think with the energy of the team and the staff and and how they approach each game is going to keep us, it's going to keep us uh, moving for sure. Thanks, Yaz. We have two more questions, one from Jenna Tonelli and then one from Theo Lewis. Thanks so much, Krista. Um, Yasmin, I also wanted to just get your thoughts on Delaney scoring her first ever NWSL goal in a playoff match as someone who's, you know, been her teammate all year. What was it like to celebrate that for her? Ah, oh, it was so amazing. We were saying that Delaney's going to score and it was only a matter of time for her. Um, she's such an amazing player that creates so much for us. And so for her to get that goal was, was so rewarding for everybody to, to see. And, and, um, yeah, I mean, she deserves it more than anybody. So I was, I was so hyped. I was beyond hyped. I'm st like, I, we did, nobody can stop talking about it because it's just that amazing. And so, yeah, she's amazing. Awesome. Our last question will go to Theo Lloyd-Hughes. Theo? Hi, Yaz. Um, last time you were here, Kerry, North Carolina, in a quarterfinal, you had a, a shot, a, an amazing shot that came off the bar and was not ruled a goal when you were playing with TCU. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, can, can you hear me? Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, as I was saying, last time you were here in a quarterfinal, uh, for TCU, you had a shot that came off the bar and was not ruled a goal. Replays maybe said different, but you ended up going home that day. When when the ball came to you tonight and, and you took your chance, was any of that past that you had in Cary, North Carolina playing on your mind? Um, yeah, that's funny. That was actually something I mention all the time when playing here. Was, this is the last field I, I played my college career on um, and that I did score, but it, it didn't get counted, so that's really funny. Um, yeah, I think... I think about that, but just that I'll never let that happen again. Um, and that, yeah, I mean, I think it just motivates me anymore, even more to, to win on this field um, and in this environment. So it's, it's, it was there in the beginning, but when I'm playing, I'm definitely just focused on um, that moment and, and what's in the present. Um, and I'm glad that I, that the goal counted this time. <laughs> Thank you, Yasmin, and thank you, media members. We'll jump right in immediately to my time with us. So please stay with us.